Hi again, everyone. Um, now we'll be doing dividing length, mass, and volume in compound units uh, with regrouping. So here we have an equation, 7 kilograms, 300 grams, divided by 5, right? So as in the previous video, we never start on the far right side. We always start from the biggest unit of measure on our left. So we will start by saying 7 divided by 5. So 7 divided by 5 is equal to 1. After dividing, we multiply 5 times 1, which will give us this 5. Then after multiplication, we subtract. We subtract 7 minus 5, which will then give us 2. So normally we would say that this 2 is our remainder when we are doing division. Yes, this is our remainder of the kilograms. So now, what do we do? Because now we are left with this 2. We need to regroup the 2 kilogram to the grams. So now we have 2 kg, 300 g, or 2 kg and 300 kilograms because remember we still have our kilograms here so if now we are regrouping the two because 2 kg is equal to 2000 grams we'll say 2000 plus 300 will which will give us our total of 2300 grams that's how we regroup We've regrouped the two. Then we begin again with our division as always. We say, can 5 go into 2? Obviously, it can't. Can 5 go into 23? Yes, it goes 4 times. Then 5 times 4 gives us 20. Then 23 subtract 20 will give us 3. Then we bring down the next digit, which is 0. And remember, 0 counts as a certain value because now it makes this whole number become 30. Then we repeat 5 into 30 or 30 divided by 5 will give us 6. Then we multiply 6 times 5 which will give us 30. Then we minus 30 minus 30 that will give us a 0. And before we can conclude we need to see if there's something left to bring down, and yes, it is a zero. We bring it down. We say five into zero or zero divided by five. It will give us zero. Five times zero is zero. And then zero minus zero, obviously, is nothing. And now we have our grams, and we have the answer to our kilograms. And then we compound them together, and they will give us one kg 460 g's or 1 kg and 460 grams another way of doing the same equation of 7 kg and 300 grams divided by 5 is when we do long division and there's no regrouping here as you can see we'll just ask ourselves how many times does 5 go into 7 or 7 divided by 5 which will give us the 1, then 1 multiplied by 5 will give us the 5, 7 minus 5 will give us the 2, and then we continue and we bring down the next digit. Then we take our kgs, we put them at the top to say that we are done now with our kgs. Then 5 into 23 or 23 divided by 5 will then start our grams now, will give us a 4, then 5 multiplied by 4, that will give us a 20. Then we subtract 23 minus 20, then that will give us a 3. Then we bring down the next digit. Then we say, how many times does 5 go into 30? Or 30 divided by 5, that will give us 6. 6 multiplied by the 5, that will give us 30. Then we subtract 30 minus 30, that will give us a 0. Or will leave us with nothing and then we look up there yes we still have something to bring down then we bring it down 
because zero holds value. Then five divided by zero, or zero divided by five rather, or five into zero, that will automatically give us zero. Zero multiplied by five, any number multiplied by zero is zero. Zero minus zero will give us a zero. And then there we go. We have our answer of one kilogram, 460 grams.